Okay. Number three, you can see we're converting kiloseconds into milliseconds. So those are both prefixed units. So we're going to have to convert kiloseconds into seconds first, and then seconds into milliseconds second. So I'm going to have 457 kiloseconds. Kiloseconds goes onto the diagonal because we need this unit to cancel. You put the number one where the prefix is, kilo is 10 to the third. And then seconds follows you onto the diagonal, and then milliseconds is on top. The number one goes next to the prefix, milli is 10 to the negative three, so it goes next to the one letter base unit. Notice that I have highlighted the units that need to cancel in order to convert over to milliseconds. When you put this in your calculator, this is going to be 457 times second E3 divided by second E negative 3. Enter. So this is going to end up being what? 4.57 times 10 to the 8th in your calculator. Okay. So I'm putting this in standard scientific notation because of the fact that this is a really large number. Okay, um, and then remember that all of these have infinite sig figs because these are all exact. So that means the three sig figs that I have here in 457 matches the three sig figs I have over here in my final result. Okay, you set up number four. And let's see what you guys come up with. What is mega 10 to the 6? Okay. All right. Did you get that? Awesome. Any questions for me? You can turn the page if you don't have any questions. Do you need me to write out the steps for how to put this in your calculator, or are we okay? So. This is, this is a little confusing because this is in standard scientific notation. So you don't put a multiplication sign in here. This would be 5 point, yikes, doesn't look like 5. 5.6 second E negative 4 and then times this second E 6 divided by second E negative 1 enter. Okay, sometimes when you put an extra multiplication symbol in there, um, it throws your whole answer off because it will multiply the wrong things together. Okay, all right, we're good. Okay, let's move on to derived unit conversions on the next page. Okay, derived units come from multiplying and dividing units together. So that means more than one unit is going to be present. So some typical examples would be rate, which is a fraction unit. So here we've got kilometers per hour. Another example would be density, grams per milliliter. And um, derived units typically require us to cancel the numerator and the denominator. So if we take a look down here in some of the sample problems, so here we've got 2.67 grams per mil that we're going to convert into kilograms per liter. So when you set this up, it's going to be 2.67 grams over one milliliter. And then we're trying to convert to kilograms per liter. Well, can't we convert grams to kilograms in a one-step metric conversion? So that means I'm going to definitely have a fraction here. Grams will follow me onto the diagonal. Kilograms would be on top. 
the number one would go where the prefix is, which is kilo. Kilo is 10 to the third, so I'll put it down here on the bottom. And my grams will cancel because they're on the diagonal. And then I also need to convert milliliters into liters, which is another one-step metric conversion. So that means I need one more fraction. So milliliters will go on the top of this fraction, so I can cancel it, and then liters will go on the bottom. So that means I will now be able to cancel my milliliters, okay? The number one goes where the prefixed unit is. So milli is pre the prefixed unit, so that's where I put the number one. Milli stands for 10 to the negative three, so it will go on the bottom. And this is how we will get kilograms per liter. Now, when we go to put this in our calculator, I'm going to put in 2.67 divided by second E3 divided by second E negative 3, enter. We are limited by the three sig figs that we have in the 2.67, okay? The number one, like right here, this is always exact. Okay, so this has infinite sig figs. This is infinite, 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 infinite. So that means I'm going to have three significant figures in my answer. Okay, and you should get 2.67. Yeah, okay. All right, do you want to try setting up number two? We'll see what you guys come up with. you get 8.9994 times 10 to the negative, I can't even remember what I'm writing, is that negative 7 or negative 3? 7. Okay. Okay. Are we good with this? Make sense? We had to do a two-step metric conversion from milligrams over to kilograms. So that means I had to go to the base unit first and then the base unit to the other prefix. And then the milliliters to liters was just a one step conversion. Okay? And then I'm gonna show you number three. Okay, let me start number three. For number three, we're gonna convert 35 miles per hour into meters per second. We're gonna need a lot of room to, to do this because we've gotta convert miles into feet because they gave us this unit equation here to do that. And then we'll convert like feet into inches, inches into centimeters, centimeters into meters, and then hours to minutes to seconds. So there's kind of a lot going on. So let's start with Let's use a different color. I'm going to write the 35 miles per hour here. Okay. I'm going to convert miles into feet using the unit equation that we're given. So I've got one mile for every 5,280 feet. So miles will cancel. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is... In order to get to meters, I've got to convert feet to inches, inches to centimeters, centimeters to meters. So feet will go on the diagonal, inches will go up on top. We know that there are 12 inches in a foot. This is a common unit equation that we use here. 
in, in America, right? So feet will cancel. On the first page of this section, we learned that you can convert inches into centimeters. It is an exact unit equation, okay? So one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So I'm just gonna make a note here that this was exact. So that means this has infinite and this has infinite sig figs. Also, inches and feet are both in the English unit system, so that means this and this would be exact as well. And then miles and feet are also English units, so this would be infinite as well. Okay? All right, now. I can convert centimeters to meters doing a one-step metric conversion. Then I can convert hours to minutes and minutes to seconds. So hours to minutes, there are 60 minutes in an hour. Hours will cancel. And then I can convert minutes to seconds, there are 60 seconds in a minute. And in terms of sig figs, this, this is exact, this is exact, and this is exact. So that means the two sig figs that I have here in the 35, because the number one is always exact, okay? The two sig figs that I have will be the two sig figs that I have in my final answer, okay? When you put this in your calculator, I would take 35 times 5280 times 12 times 2.54 times second E negative two divided by 60 divided by 60, enter you should get 16. Okay. Okay, I have three things left to talk about in this section and then we're done. Okay. So, and we're leaving math after this. So this is like a heavy math section. And once I get into chapter two, it's no math. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, any questions on this? Okay, let's go to the next page then. So what I'm going to do is we're going to jump straight into the next set of practice problems, okay? We learned previously about density. Remember how I give you the density triangle? Okay, so since density is a um, derived unit, has a derived unit, we can use it to convert from one thing to another, depending upon the problem that we're doing, okay? So if we take a look here at these practice problems, and what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna stop this video and restart it.